Air travelers are dealing with additional layers of security as the U.S. government tries to figure out how a man who claimed ties to al-Qaeda managed to board an airplane with explosives strapped to his body. Passengers say they were met with more bomb-sniffing dogs and extra pat-downs before boarding. It, wasn't, it was very efficient. They had a lot of people for the check. Um, so it wasn't like time-consuming in terms of security. So you, you prefer your security more than time. So it was not, not, not so bad. There's also a new rule to follow once you actually make it on the plane. Passengers have to stay in their seats without blankets or pillows for the last hour of the flight. Even after Friday's foiled attack, travelers heading to the U.S. from Europe don't seem to be worried about their safety. With the fire being fearful, not at all. Not at all, not one bit. I'm going to go and we're going to land safely from, to Detroit, and then we're going to land safely to Chicago. And will be no problem at all. Umar Farouk Abdulmutalab has been charged with trying to destroy a plane as it approached the Detroit Metropolitan Airport on Christmas Day. Abdul Mutalab, who was hospitalized with burns, made his first appearance in front of a judge Saturday. The thing that struck me and another reporter was that he, was, he looked so awfully young, given the gravity of the charges he was facing. Could pass for any typical high school senior anywhere in this country. The 23-year-old man was released Sunday to the custody of federal marshals. Last month, the alleged attacker's father told U.S. officials that he was concerned about his son's religious beliefs. The information was passed on to intelligence officials, and the Nigerian's name was placed on a terrorism list with more than 550,000 others. Authorities say they didn't have enough information to put him on a watch or no-fly list. White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs said on Meet the Press that investigators are reviewing the standards for adding people to those lists to see how they can make them more effective. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.